Basic Electrical Engineering Chapter 2, Direct Current Circuit. First part, definition of terms. Circuit. A circuit is a path between two or more points, daanan sa pagitan ng dalawang points, along which an electrical current can be carried. So, in this illustration of a simple circuit, we have a bulb connected to a battery. The battery is then connected to the switch, which is also connected to the same bulb. So, yung point of connection po ng ating bulb, itong linyang to, itong wire na to, from this side of the bulb, at yung kabilang dulo ng wire, papunta sa negative terminal ng battery, since ito ay isang daanan between two points, and it can carry electrical current, ibig sabihin, circuit ang tawag sa kanya. Which is also the same, on this particular wire, connecting the positive terminal of the battery papunta dun sa one pole of our switch. That's also another circuit. And another circuit here is this wire that connects the bulb to the other end of the switch. But if this circuits are connected so that you form a closed path, kagaya nga ulit ng same illustration natin dito, then we'll call it an electric circuit. Okay? So, by the definition, an electric circuit is an interconnection of various active and passive components. What do we mean by active and passive components? Active components po are electrical components that supply energy to the circuit, while ang passive components naman po, instead of supplying energy to the circuit, they absorb energy. So, active it, if it supplies energy, passive if it absorbs energy. So, in this case, Si battery is an active component while this light bulb which has a resistance is a passive component. If you have several circuits, several electrical circuits like this in the illustration, meron tayo ditong siyam na loops. This is already considered an electric network. So, yung circuit natin pwede siyang ganito kasimple. Isang, isang single loop circuit lamang siya. Or pwede naman ganito siya ka-complicated. Siyempre, depende sa kung ano ba yung mga, kung ano ba yung purpose ng connections na meron tayo. Pwede naman siyang complicated, pero cute pa din. Yan. Next term, active network. So, an active network is a network that consists of at least one active source, like a voltage source or current source. An example, as illustrated, you have a network here, an interconnection of different circuits, and you have one source. So, ang sabi lang dito, active network siya, basta may isang active source. So, this is an active network. Opposite to this, we have passive network. At kung passive network naman siya, wala siyang active source. Lahat ay passive, passive components lamang. As you can see, puro resistor lang yung laman ng network natin. Dito kaya siya passive network. Next term, node. So, a node is a connection between two or more branches. On a circuit diagram, a node is sometimes indicated by a dot. That may be a solder point in the actual circuit. So, if you're going to look at this example, itong dot na to, that's an indication of a node. Pinagkabitan or junction or interconnection of several circuits. So, you have one, two, three, Four for this particular node, while this node, it has three. One, two, three uh, circuits connected to it. So, in this particular circuit, again, you have a total of one, two, three, four nodes. So, sa totoong buhay daw po, yung nodes nga ay kung saan nagkabit yung mga linya natin, which may be connected using a solder. Going back to the definition, the node also includes all wires connected to the point. In other words, it includes all points at the same potential. So, yung node down natin, um, nakabilang doon lahat ng circuits or lahat ng wires natin na iisa yung potential difference or potential value. If a short circuit connects two nodes, these two nodes are equivalent to and in fact are just a single node. Even if two dots are shown. Let me show you an example for that. So, we have a circuit here, which is a simple parallel circuit. Huwag masyadong ma-stress sa parallel. Paaralin natin yung later on. 
So we have a circuit here, and as you can see in this circuit, you have four nodes, okay? Four nodes, four connections. So, yung connections natin, bale, you have one, two, three, and four. Let's say we name the nodes using random variables. Let's say this is node A, this one is node B, this one is node C, and this is node D. Sabi dun sa definition natin, yung short circuit po, pwede natin gamitin para mag-connect ng dalawang nodes. Two different nodes. So, anong nangyari dito? Itong wire between nodes A and B is considered a short circuit because it's simply a low resistance line. Okay? This low resistance line seems to connect two junctions or two nodes. Nodes A and B. And the same goes for nodes C and D. Meron din siyang short circuit line dito. But itong short circuit line na to, in actual, para ka lang nagdugsong ng dalawang component. Kaso dahil malayo, sa halip na idikit mo or idiretso mo or itap mo ng straight, si B pa po na kay A, ang ginawa mo, naglagay ka ng wire, kasi siguro malayo yung pagkakabitan natin. Pwede ganun yung re realization dyan. Diba din sabi sa definition, Kapag yung dalawang nodes daw po are connected by a short circuit line, the two nodes are considered to be the same. Kasi nga, low resistance line ito, wala siyang laman. Thus, kung ano man yung papasok na current dito, sa ating node A, most likely yun din yung papasok kay node B because they are the same node. Instead of putting a short circuit line here, Pwede mo namang idikit, idikit to ng diretso dito. So, magiging itsura niya. You still have your, still have your one, 10 volts uh, supply. As you have your node A here. Nandyan yung 5 ohms resistor natin. Tapos, sa halip na maglalagay ka pa ng wire sa junction na to, maglalagay ka pa ng additional wire para makonect mo itong linyang to, pwede namang si 15 ohms mismo, ikabit mo na ng diretso dito. Andito si 15 ohms. Kasi sa totoong buhay naman, hindi naman ganito ang itsura ng linya ng wire. Hindi naman siya exactly rectangular. Hindi siya perfect straight line. Majority of the times, nakikita nyo yung mga memes sa Facebook, yung mga wire natin. Kulokulundoy, buhol-buhol. So, instead na ikaw ay mag-create pa ng junction dito, maglalagay ka ng additional wire para maikabit mo to doon din, pwedeng diretsyo na. So, si 15 ohms, nakakabit siya ng diretsyo dun sa node ni A. Which means, yung kabilang dulo ni 15 ohms na nakakabit kay node D, pwede mo na rin tanggalin yung extra wire na nilagay mo dito. And instead, itap mo na to ng diretso dun. So, kung ito ay node C before, nag-fuse together na si nodes C and D. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng if two nodes are connected by a short circuit, then the nodes are considered the same. Next term, branch. So, a branch of a circuit is a single component such as a resistor or a source. In the illustration, 4 ohms, this one component is considered a branch. 100 volts may be considered a branch. 3 ohms and 2 ohms may be considered a branch and so on. But, occasionally though, this term is applied to a group of components that carry the same current. So, if we can go back to our um, learnings in high school, maybe... Tinuro siguro naman sa atin kung ano ang series circuit. So, alam natin, nagkakaroon lang ng same current yung mga components kung sila ay connected in series. Later on, we'll get into details with series circuits. But for us to identify that they are series, kailangan po, um, you have two components, for example, 3 ohms, 3 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in series. One end of the 2 ohm is connected to the 3 ohm resistor and the other end is connected to another component. The 3 ohm resistor, one end is connected to the 2 ohm resistor while its other end is connected to another part of the circuit. In that case, para bang magka-holding hands? Ayan. In that case, series connected itong dalawa. So, kapag series connected siya, iisang kuryente ang dumadaan dyan. At kung iisang kuryente ang dumadaan dyan, pwede na natin i-consider na isang branch lamang ito. Kahit pa dalawa yung component na laman niya. So, if we're going to analyze this particular circuit, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six branches. Pwede naman nating isama ito, itong ilalim na to, which is considered a short circuit. Kaso since wala siyang laman na component at alam nating iisa lang ang node na ito, pwede na nating hindi i-consider na branch yan. Next term, loop. So, a loop is a closed path formed by starting at a node, passing through a set of nodes, and returning to the starting node without passing through any node more than once. So, when we consider loops, Looking at this example, kailangan mo daw mag-start sa isang node, dadaan to, let's say this one, dadaan to sa several nodes hanggang sa makabalik ka kung saan ka nagsimulang node. So, if you started here at iikotin mo or itetrace mo yung branches na pwede nating daanan at yung nodes, hanggang sa makabalik tayo dun sa node kung saan tayo nagsimula, we call that a loop. As long as hindi mo dinaanan yung mga nodes more than once. Dapat isang beses mo lang siya dadaanan. So, when we, when we started from here, going clockwise, here, going through the 5 ohm resistor, to the 10 ohm resistor, to the short circuit back, to that node, isang beses lang natin dinaanan itong mga points na to. Diba? So, isang loop yan. Also, from this node... Tracing this triangular line, that's another loop. With this one, going through the lower triangle, that's another loop. From this node, papunta kay 4 ohms, papunta kay 100 volts, pabalik ulit. Dito sa node na to, that's another loop. 